The main purpose of pesticides is to eliminate pests and other parasites to crops. However, pesticides also carry a large number of unintended side effects that harm the environment, wildlife, and humans. This dark side of pesticides was first brought to light when Rachel Carson published her revolutionary book, Silent Spring, in 1962. While her book brought an end to DDT, there are hundreds if not thousands of other pesticides that have been since linked to adverse health conditions in the environment and humans. In a world where pesticides are so widely used, it is important to understand the health effects they can have on you and your environment. Between 2005 and 2009, farmers in the United States applied 2.2 kilograms of pesticide per hectare of arable land. Farmers in China applied 10.3 kilograms of pesticide over the same unit area. According to the Food and Drug Administration, 38% of our food supply contain pesticide residue. Among plants grown in the U.S., apples, grapes, and strawberries are some of the likeliest fruit to contain high pesticide residue. Due to the countless number of pesticides in use around the world, the Environmental Protection Agency has published a directory of all these different chemicals and their effects on your health. Each pesticide has different side effects. In general, pesticides can negatively affect the nervous and endocrine systems, cause irritation on the skin and eyes, and possess carcinogenic properties. Many pesticides, categorized as endocrine disruptors, interfere with the endocrine system and produce adverse reproductive, developmental, and neurological side effects. Organophosphate, an endocrine disruptor, has been shown to reduce testosterone levels in men, as well as negatively affecting fertility and brain development. Atrazine has been linked to breast tumors and prostate inflammation in humans, sometimes even leading to prostate cancer. An increasingly long list of pesticides created by the EPA has shown that these chemicals commonly have carcinogenic properties, that is, properties that cause cancer in humans. Some examples of pesticides that have been proven to be carcinogenic are organochlorines, creosote, and sulfalate. However, due to the sheer amount of pesticides, not all of them have been tested for carcinogenic properties. We simply don't understand the side effects of many pesticides on the market. As part of our project research, we have been studying the effect of neonicotinoids on pollinator populations. There has not been any substantial research done on neonicotinoids' effects on humans or the environment. In order to fully understand the side effects of these pesticides on humans, it is important that citizens appeal to pesticide manufacturers and the EPA to promote more widespread research on the harmful side effects of pesticides. After all, these pesticides are in the food you eat and the water you drink. You deserve to know what is being put in your body.